Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm blaze 2 k and we cover game and tech and Steam Deck content on this YouTube channel. And Valve, Valve, the sneaky company, has put out another update to the desktop Steam client, specifically the beta version of it, which if you go watch one of my old videos, I'll tell you how to switch to the beta, the beta build of it. But they've replaced another part of old Steam, another old part of Steam in the desktop, latest desktop and Steam Deck the Steam Deck client beta with a new UI for games that have launch options set. So you might have been familiar with this. So if you've got a game that has a VR component or something like that, or maybe it's got like a little small fix for certain certain graphics cards, or even like if you want to run it in a certain version of DirectX, you'll be familiar with this little pop-up here. Play Deep Rock Galactic, Deep Rock Galactic, DirectX 12, DirectX 11, or the safe mode. Well, they've updated it with a nicer, slick, sexy ui um and here it is here so as you can see it looks very nice very clean it uses the same steam deck consistent steam ui um style that they're going with with the new the new big picture mode right um if you do not if you do want to change it after you can just go into the game properties and tweak it to something else or make it ask you every time so you can actually go like if you don't want to see this pop up every time you can go into the game properties and obviously go down to general and change you know change the compatibility of the launch options down here should be super easy um but there we go there's also a couple of new updates patch notes are here so in general they further made further optimizations to load times for users with large game libraries so if you have a large game library like myself and things were being a little bit slow then they've optimized load times they fixed the case where the ui would think that the game is running when it's not leaving games in an exiting forever state that has actually happened a couple of times i think i tried to run modern warfare 2 with the new New big picture mode and it was just like it, i was trying to get into the game wouldn't work and then it gave me that exiting forever state so glad they fixed that we fixed the case where disconnecting a dis, ugh, disconnecting a controller while navigating would not cancel repeating movements interesting now the desktop mode they've replaced launch option dialogue with new ui that includes a checkbox to remember the user selection added a drop down in game properties to change that selection after it's remembered so we just covered this at the start of the video. They fixed an intermittent browser crash when closing update news dialogue. They fixed a rare crash exiting the new big picture mode. Okay, so as your Steam ever crashed when exiting the new big picture mode on desktop mode, um, use the new big picture mode standalone keyboard if Steam is configured to run in new BPM, new big picture mode. So we covered how to launch, how to first of all install the the, the desktop client beta in an older video. And I also walked you through how to use the launch command in New Big Picture to get basically the new Big Picture working on your, your Steam client. Go watch it. It's a couple of videos. It's a couple of weeks ago. Um, fix some UI scaling issues in the new Big Picture mode overlay when running games in high resolution. Cool. Um, so very cool. Steam input change controller mode sliders to default to larger step sizes to match the old BPM interface um, and added footer button to switch the fine adjustment mode with smaller step sizes. They fixed an issue with the joystick dead zone sliders having a delayed input. They've also generated a Steam, in generate Steam input API origins for some virtual menu modes that were missing them. They fixed a crash in Linux in lib audio. Um, they fixed some issues. We talked about this before. They fixed some issues completing purchases through some payment providers. They fixed a rear crash. Okay, so they've basically just done a lot of fixes here, a lot of updates to big, uh, the Steam Deck client beta and the desktop Steam Deck client beta. So a lot of them are similar fixes, obviously different ones for Steam Deck's client beta, which is obviously, you know, on Linux, whereas desktop steam client beta includes windows so there we go guys some cool updates all around for the steam deck let me know in the comments if any of those updates were useful for you if you were having any issues covered in those updates in the change log and um yeah it's always good to see valve working on the steam deck client even on windows right for those of you that have dual booted on your steam deck like myself then this will be very handy for you anyways guys have a great day enjoy your friday and i'll see you in the next Steam Deck video oh pardon me have a good weekend like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your YouTube, on your YouTube homepage every single day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Take care.